Uh, been playing NRL since 2017 was my first year down here. Under the 20s rules, back in the day with the NYC competition, you had to either be studying or working. So I actually started out doing a sports science degree straight out of school and had about a year there and found it wasn't quite for me and then transitioned into a trade um, and did carpentry there for about three years before going full time with NRL. So um, yeah, still be managing um, it through our football and stuff like that. I think I come down here, did a little business course through EABS and sort of still kept chipping away at little things and um, finding, yeah, different avenues and stuff. But yeah, then did the carpentry and then now also studying as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a good little process. Currently studying a bachelor in business, but majoring in property. It covers a broad range of everything to do with property and construction and stuff like that. So, um, which is still a, a continuation from the avenue of carpentry. It's been good. Um, it's been challenging, obviously, trying to fit it all in to the schedule, and it's been long as well. So, but it, it's always good when you go on site and you get a, a, a bit more than just a couple of hours on, and get a bit of momentum going, and it's enjoyable. Um, as silly as it sounds, you know, because it's sort of that separation from football and a bit of normality and whatnot as well. So, um, you know, you can put your focus elsewhere apart from just rugby league full time as well. So, yeah. Yeah, this year I put myself under a little bit of stress with trying to find time on side and also balancing, um, you know, uni as well and full-time training, but I feel like I handled it really well. Um, a lot of it's just scheduling out my day and trying to fit an hour here and an hour there. And um, the guys at MIBT have been really, really helpful with, you know, fitting in around training as well as Greater Western Sydney University with allowing me to have access to tutorials when I haven't been there for to the tutorials. So yeah, it's it's, when you've got a good support group around you like that, um, helping you to achieve life after football and life away from football, it um, makes things a lot easier as well, which is helpful. It's funny, I've always said it, like I'm really grateful for footy in a way because I still don't know what I want to do and footy's sort of given me a bit more time to think and I've said it before as well, like I almost feel sorry for people who are just throwing straight out of school into making a decision, a career decision that's going to be there for the rest of their life and then, you know, being stuck and trying to have a new sort of that way. So like footy is sort of giving me time to think and try different things as well, which is really good. So uh, the point that I made before about scheduling my time and, um, you know, fitting things in, you know, it's a good uh, skill to have or habit to have, you know, especially when life might, when life does, will transition um, until after football because it's inevitable. Like football is going to end one day, and putting the preparation into now so that the transition becomes a lot more smoother and easier. It is exciting to sort of look at that second chapter of life and then what it what it actually looks like as well. So it's a new challenge, and yeah, I look forward to it when that time comes. It gives me time to try new things as well. So, uh, also doing my Cert Four in um, you know building and you know just little crash courses, seminars here and there as well, and just building a, a foundation, a base of knowledge. So yeah, because that's what you've got to think as well. Like uh, people straight out of school have had ten years to build up a career, and when. We've had 10 years to build a career in football, but then as soon as that's over, you, you're basically starting from zero again. And in other aspects, you're behind in life, you know? So um, it, to, to bring that up level so that that transition is smooth, um, uh, yeah, it's it's something that you yeah need to be taking seriously. So um, if you can do that throughout your whole career, instead of just trying to cramming in all at the end and feeling rushed, yeah, it, it makes things a lot easier as well.